Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Pro Tools Help. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to bounce your recording session into a WAV file. So this comes into play when you're all done your recording and you're uh, content with the final product. And you want to gather your whole session into one uh, little WAV file. So we're going to go into our, our recording session. Now let's just say this is a huge session and... And you have all your tracks recorded, all your beat, beats in there, and all your recordings, and you want to export it. Uh, bounce is a, just another term for export. So what we're going to do is, it's going to, Pro Tools is automatically going to bounce however long your biggest file is. So let's say this one's four minutes and you have one that's three minutes and 40 seconds, two minutes, or whatever like that, it's going to bounce accordingly to how long your biggest file is. So it's very simple. We're going to go to uh, File. We're going to go down to Bounce. We're going to go to Disk. It's going to give you something that looks like this. We're going to, since we started our session in 16-bit and 44.1 kilohertz, we're going to leave it at that. We can switch here from uh, AIFF or WAVE. Um, you can't do MP3 unless you have purchased it. So we're going to click Bounce Source and we're going to click Analog Stereo because we want it to import into a stereo uh, file. We don't want it to import and only play in the left speaker or the right speaker. We go down to Convert During Bounce and then we go Bounce. You can either, you have the options to import it after Bounce or add to the iTunes uh, library. But for right now, we're just going to bounce it. And when you hit bounce, it's going to tell you where to save. In this case, we want to save it on desktop, whatever, whatever. We're going to name it whatever we want. We're going to hit save, and it's going to start to play the whole record. So you at least get one more listen uh, before you make your final decision. And that's about it. You're going to have to wait till it, <clears throat> this time remaining finishes, and then you'll you can locate your file wherever you saved it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys learned something new. Uh, please subscribe, and if you guys have any further questions, please inbox me, and I'd love to get back to you and help you guys out. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.